Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't realize it was paint basket TV time again. Just finished up a great live class on how to paint realistic flowers. If you haven't caught that, the link is below. This week, we're going to be chatting about babies, money and perspective. The first one is a little trick that I've showed the guys in today's live class, but I want to show it to you as well. Okay, now next trick. Let's zoom around here for me, please, Dennis. For those of you that have got kids, do you recognize this? These little containers that you put the, the formula in when you're going out visiting or whatever. Even if you don't have kids, go and buy yourself some. I'm going to show you what you do. So you'll take this. Because I'm now finished with the green, but I don't know if I've missed this part or if I still need some. Where's my knife? Sorry guys, I've... Uh, my knife's missing. Just want to discover him quickly. Yeah, right in front. Do you see it? Yeah. Where? Oh, underneath, and no wonder I can't see it. Thank you. Really getting old, eh? Really forgetful. Okay, so you're going to take this and you're going to pop all your all your paint in there. Like that. And while I'm busy with the painting, I'll, I'll just leave it in there. As is. So I'll scoop that up and put it on the one side and I'll take the darker version and I'll put him on another side and I can put a few similar colors going around there like that. So if I need three drops of green, I've got, it's right there waiting for me. I never throw any colors away until I'm finished with the painting because you never know when you need just a half a drop. That was a pretty cool trick, don't you think? Now, let's go and take a look at a seriously cool website where you can make some money with your art. One of the busiest sites where you can sell your art is Etsy.com. Pretty much anything that's handmade can be sold here as long as you've made it yourself. It's free to join the site but they do charge you 20 cents per item that you add to the shop to sell. And that item will then display for four weeks. If you make a sale, the seller will pay you the full amount directly into your PayPal account. But just be aware that Etsy does still charge you a 3.5% commission on that sale so don't go and spend all the money because they'll bill you separately for all your sales commissions at the end of each month. The great thing about Etsy is that it's a quick and cheap way to set up a pretty decent online shop for your art. And Etsy does attract a huge amount of buyers every month. The downside to this though is that there are a heap of other artists also selling their art on Etsy so the buyer is spoiled for choice. Your secret to success here will be to not only add multiple photos of each product but a great write up with each one as well. Then you'd also want to go and market your Etsy shop at every opportunity so that you're not only relying on that generic Etsy traffic for your sales. If you have an Etsy shop or decide to start one, let us know how it goes and what you've done to increase your sales. It's nice when you can get other people to do the work for you. Did you know that I can also make you some money? At the Paint Basket, we have an affiliate program where you can earn money simply by telling your friends about us.
If they then buy from us, you earn yourself a juicy commission of up to 70%. So if you have a website, we have all the banners and links you need to help you promote. Even if you don't have a website, you can still link your affiliate ID to your forum signature on other websites, your Facebook updates where you tell other people about us, or emails that you send to your friends. So why not join our affiliate program today and start earning money from our hard work? So there's one less bull you need to worry about. Now speaking of bull, look at this really cool painting done by Jim. Jim says he found this piece of scrap wood in his garage and then used water mixable oils to paint his neighbor's shed. What intrigues me about this painting is the amount of detail that Jim has managed to cram into a painting the size of his palm. Jim, there is one little thing that you can touch up on that painting and that's the perspective on the barn is not quite right, but let me show you what to do. When drawing a building like this, you always need to remember your vanishing points as they'll help you get the perspective right. Let's draw in the center line on the right hand shed wall and then judge the height of the closest wall. From here, we can extend the wall to the vanishing point to get the height on the right hand side. Judge the height of the roof on the center line and draw that in. From here, you can extend all the points of the left hand side of the barn out to their vanishing point to get those angles correct. So, if I now judge the width of the left hand wall, I can complete the shed and know the perspective will be correct. Let's take a look at the difference it would make on your painting. Ah, that's better. Alrighty, that's me for this week. If you also want to learn how to paint this cool rose, then take a look at the resources box below. I better carry on tidying up before the wife gets home. See you next week. Hey Basket TV!